forecast only on Fox 47 News at 10. All right, Laura and I were talking earlier. I was saying I got a message from the Humane Society of Hillsdale saying that there were some issues with some of the pets being outside. I know a lot of times the viewers say, well, obviously, you know, to bring the dogs and cats in, but mm -hmm. not everyone seems to know that. Yeah, not everyone, and we have so many cases coming in. And uh, if you know of an animal that is outside that should not be outside, please call and uh, make sure that they're taken care of. Maybe someone just went on vacation and just didn't happen to uh, make sure that the dog or cat was taken care of on the way back. So uh, just keep track of those animals. It's very cold outside. And that includes us, course. too, right? For us as well, very <laughs> yeah. cold. Uh, I don't think you need us telling you yeah, that. Everyone no shoveling knows it's cold. Or any of that. No, be careful with the shoveling. A uh, limited time outside, especially with numbers like these. Here's a look at the wind chills. 18 below zero in Lansing, 20 in Jackson, 21 in Marshall. These are the feel like temperatures, so very cold. It doesn't take a lot of time for you to lose some of that body heat that you have, which is why it's so dangerous to be outside. And we're going to see similar numbers to those for the next uh, 36 hours or so. Wind chill warning in effect that went in tonight at 7 o'clock, and we're going to see this extended uh, through Wednesday morning. That's when temperatures start to become a little more durable outside. Negative 3 is the actual temperature in Lansing, negative 5 in Mason negative six in Jackson. We're going to continue falling a few more degrees before we pick anything up tomorrow. The high temperatures will be in the low single digits. A very cold day for us. It does get better as we continue through the next seven days. At least we won't have to deal with a lot of snowfall, but look at this. We're done with the snow, at least off the lake shore. We may see a few flakes tomorrow, but we've really cleared our skies out. We're seeing mostly cloudy, mostly clear skies to partly cloudy skies for the overnight, and that's allowing those temperatures to drop pretty quickly. Winds five to 10 miles miles per hour and those will be keeping up. It'll be breezy tomorrow as well. So you really have to stay safe outside. Of course, avoid travel or any time outdoors if you can. If you have to travel, make sure that you are prepared completely bundled up, especially keeping the mouth secure as well. And hat always helps to prepare the car if you need to travel with all the slippery conditions. Of course, you want to make sure that you're ready in case something does occur on the roadside. And as we were talking, keep the pets indoors as well. Here's a look at the next 48 hours with the wind chills. I want to show you these numbers not looking good at all into the negative 20s for the overnight could extend into the negative 30s as well. This model keeping us toward the uh, lower end of the 20s. Here's a look at tomorrow morning. Very cold temperatures as well. Getting into about the teens for tomorrow during the daytime. And remember, those actual temperatures will only be in the single digits tomorrow too. Into Tuesday night, very similar into those 20s and teens. By the time we get to Wednesday into the afternoon, we'll see actual temperatures into the mid-teens and our wind chills will not be quite as cold into the negative singles and uh, close to zero for that time as well. By the time we get to Thursday, actual temperatures are climbing into the 20s, believe it or not, and that's where we're going to stay for the rest of the week. That's when our relief comes. We'll notice big changes come the second half of the week into the weekend. But first, we've got a couple of very cold days ahead, so make sure that you are taking appropriate uh, precautions. Negative 10 for tonight, just a few flurries. We're not going to see too much more for tonight. Uh, the wind chills is going to be the biggest story. And you can see that Ariana, our 1-800 Hanson weather kid tonight, is not looking very happy about the temperatures. I'm sure she wants to play outside in the snow, just like a bunch of other kids. It's just so hard when it's so cold outside and, of course, dangerous as well. Wait until about Thursday or Friday. Things do get better. Maybe some sledding is possible. This weekend or even uh, some snowman making. I know the snow is so dry outside. It's really hard to make any kind of snowball thing with that. But of course, sledding, it's great ap ap atmosphere Woo, for that outside. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to concentrate trying to build a snowman right now. I no. can barely walk to my car. I know. It's, it's just so cold. that cold. It's so cold. Well, at least we've got uh, some relief coming on Thursday. Just yeah, wait until then. We'll wait for the relief. But in the meantime, just be careful. Thanks, Laura. Mm -hmm. We've got more news coming up for you after this quick, quick, quick break. Stay with us.